Because you'll notice that the second article is the longest of them because Jesus is the most important part of the Trinity. Yeah, no Jesus doing Jesus things, and we're wasting our time here this morning. You say, well, I believe there's a creator God. Well, yeah, so do the, so do the Hindus, so do the Muslims, so does everybody else. What makes us unique is the revelation of the person and work of Jesus Christ. This is where I get weird. And if I offend people, I'm sorry, but I am so tired of watching popular Christian media or reading popular Christian publications and people talking about, I believe in God. We got to get people to believe in God. Oh, it's all about God, God, God. Nobody, everybody believes in God. You know, even the agnostics believe in God. That's why they're agnostic. It's not that they don't acknowledge as a God. They're saying they don't know who he is. You know, it, we're not trying to convince people to be deists. We're trying to convince people that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, and that nobody comes to the Father but through him. And so if we're just out there thinking, we've got to tell people about God, no, we've got to tell people about Christ. I'm sorry if I'm weird and so boxy, but and this is a Lutheran thing. It's all about Jesus. You get Jesus right, you understand everything there is to know about God. You get Jesus wrong, <laughs> anything else you think about God is ultimately going to be wrong too. So that's why this is the most important article. Conceived by the Virgin Mary, uh, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate. This is also stupid important, as is everything else is stupid important in the second article. Why do we have that in there? It's because Pontius Pilate was evil, and he put the Lord to death. That is weird medieval Catholicism. That is not what we're thinking. In fact, if you talk to Coptic Christians, the Eastern Christians, they consider uh, Pontius Pilate a saint. You see, the Catholics will tell you that Pontius Pilate wandered the earth, he got recalled to Rome, he ended up in Switzerland, and he drowned himself in a lake because of his grief for having done something so... You know, the, East, the Coptics, Pilate and his wife, um, they became saints, and they went east, and they told the world about Jesus. I mean, we don't know what happened to this guy. He is important to us not because of who he is, but because he is a temporal marker. He dates when this happened. Nowadays, we say it happened on January 1st, 1989. We got this whole stuff. They didn't do that in the ancient world. They talked about who was in power where, and that is how you dated and placed things in location. Now, why is this important to Christianity? Because Christianity is a religion of location. That means that God interacted in a specific time in a specific place, in a specific way. Because when people get saved in this world, they get saved, guess how? Real time, real place, real people. Because God, for whatever reason, does not just set up in heaven and just magically zap somebody. There's some guy down there in North Korea. I want him to go to heaven. Okay, uh, Ho Chi Minh, what your name is. <coughs> Bam, you're a Christian right now. He doesn't do that. He doesn't, wow, I'm a Christian. I've never read a Bible. I don't know who Jesus is, but I've got all the answers. The Lord works through people. People who bring his word. That's why Paul says in Romans, faith comes through hearing. 